Shobhit, I can give you one quick feedback. Never do this uh, in the interview. Whenever you are explaining anything, try to use the interview pad because uh, it might be that you are okay, thinking okay. something else. You are explaining something else. It's better to use the interview pad and explain. I'll give a small introduction about myself and then we can go ahead. Right? So, okay, sir. Myself, I graduated from IIT Roorkee and then I worked with a couple of startups, primarily like Oyo, a software developer. And then I am, yeah, then I've been working in service now as a company. Yeah, uh, primarily I've worked on different aspects and uh, yeah, currently doing these things and taking the interview. Yeah. Can you give a small brief about yourself? Uh, so I am from uh, IIT Rodra. I am a second uh, second year student, and my name is Shobhit Bansal. Uh, basically, I am uh, I am from a computer science branch uh, and a software engineer. I am pursuing software engineering. Mm -hmm. So basically, I do my programming and I have few programming skills and I do my coding basically in C++ and Python. And I have okay. done few development. Develop also, like in Django and in Python, I have developed a few system applications in Python uh, using GUI library. Uh, yes. So, which so, out of these has been your one of the major uh, projects or some of the good achievement that you did development side? Uh, so, recently, uh, I worked on a few of my own projects. I took up uh, a few ideas from internet and I tried to implement it uh, using Django and Python. So I built a student portal right now. Uh, recently, I built a student portal where, by using various APIs, I have uh, integrated various services in a single platform. Where suppose I am a student, I can create account there. I can log in and log out there, and I can manage my notes. I can manage my homeworks. I can uh, do Google search, Wikipedia search, YouTube search, and various other things which a student needs in his or her daily life uh, to help out in his studies. I have provided some facilities and I am currently pursuing that project. So I am uh, making it better and better day by day. So recently I am working on that. Okay, so you have integrated the Google and Insight APIs? Uh, no, sir. My project is based on uh, authentication, uh, not Google authentication. Normal authentication means uh, the data, the data of the user will be recorded in the database of my own application. And I'm using few APIs like uh, Wikipedia APIs and YouTube APIs to do that functionality. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, let's start with the data structures and some of the algorithm questions. And uh, then we can, maybe if we'll have the time, we'll come back to the first part. Okay, you are given a string and you need to find out whether uh, the set of parentheses is making it a valid or not. So for example, this uh, is, uh, a valid valid one and uh, if i say the invalid one it be just uh, something like that or it could be you know any weird combination that way right yes sir okay but uh, let's take a step uh, ahead and uh, for a given string i want to find the longest that is valid parenthesis so for example, if I take uh, this invalid uh, case itself, then this is my valid part. Okay, for example, if I say that my string is something like uh, uh, this string, or even there is further. So here, there are two segments which are valid. This segment and this segment, correct? Yes, sir. Now, but I want to find the longest one. So in this case, the longest is the first part where the output will be 6. That means this one. In case, okay. if I length, see that, I have to find the length of longest. Yeah, we have to find longest. the length. Correct. We don't have to worry about the string altogether. We just have to find the longest. Okay. 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 Yeah, that's the thing we have to implement. But before coming to the coding part, let's discuss the approach. Okay. Yeah. My approach is that, first of all, we'll implement the traditional uh, 
parenthesis matching algorithm like uh, first of all we'll start from this uh, at the starting of the string and we'll move on till the end of the string and uh, we'll push this uh, first character right uh, suppose this is open open bracket and the and the stack is already empty then this is invalid right and uh, if this is uh, if this is uh, now we will move to the next character and we'll uh, we'll see that previous character is, is open bracket then we we will pop out both and we'll continue like this to check whether it's uh, valid or not so okay. till the time at each at each pass when we are checking that it's valid or not we'll increment the counter and yes. once when we increment the counter we'll we'll we will we'll store it in a maximum value now mm -hmm. suppose we we come across this across this uh, invalid invalid segment where the mm. parenthesis is in, invalid then we will continue this with counters uh, starting from zero and we will again measure the length of the valid string how when did we, you uh, yes yes okay just one second show this how did you yes, yes. find this thing as an invalid how did you said that this is an invalid from question perspective uh, i am uh, i can say that this is invalid by seeing out the sequence but while coding uh, we will have to figure out a way to know where it is breaking or where it is not so can you wait 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 uh, shobhit i can give you one quick feedback never do this uh, in the interview whenever you are explaining anything try to use the interview pad because uh, okay. it might be that you are okay, thinking okay. something else you are explaining something else it's better to use the interview pad and explain thank you sir okay um uh, okay just uh, uh i think there are still many other cases also which is half broken or completely yes, yes, so yes. anyways let, let's leave this part uh, uh, sir, let's discuss a little sir, bit about computer science yeah sir can you please tell the solution of this one like proof of yeah. like this uh, so again, like in an actual interview also you can never expect that thing i'll explain to you in last three minutes but let me complete the overall interview okay so have you have you gone through database course Uh, yes sir i have gone through can you help me explain the basic property in database no sir i can't recall it okay uh, have you studied about normalization in database yes sir i have studied about yes sir i have studied about normalization yeah what is the use case why we do the normalization in database sir uh, the main aim of the normalization is to basically reduce the redundancy or duplicacy in a in a database uh, there are various normal forms depending on the normal form so, uh, the greater the normal form the high, high highly effective the database is so so what do you mean by the effective database what does the effective here mean effective or means good database basically means that uh, there is uh, least amount of redundancy Okay. There, there should be no duplicacy. We should not store any unnecessary data in the database. Because... Okay, I think I'm done from my side. I have another interview starting in five minutes. You can ask uh, whichever question you have. Okay. So first of all, sir, uh, uh, can you please give me the feedback uh, and uh, solution of this question? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, five tomorrow. I'll give you the detailed feedback. I can give you a quick one for now. Yes. that uh, you are not right now prepared properly or it could be just because of the pre mock interview or whatever it is that uh, the interview didn't go good i can say it really yes. went bad yes, and it is a strict uh, rejection direction uh, it stayed proper okay. without any thought like the original text itself you don't have to create the map and again go on looking for because think at a level of google doc if you're implementing something at a level of google doc how many hash maps you will be creating how many hash codes there will be and there will be many common things falling apart you cannot go on creating a hash map for each user you cannot creating a different table for these storage for different tables okay yes sir so sure. yeah uh, i think i am getting late i'll give you the detailed feedback okay, yeah. okay sir yeah, thanks man. thank you for your time sir